Welcome back to Bullets Waging. Today I'm going to attempt to show you how to make a polymer tipped 223 bullet. What you're going to need is you're going to need your jackets with the cores in them already preceded. What I'm using is airsoft pellets 6 millimeter. I just happen to get these for like three bucks, so that's what I'm using. What we're going to do is actually two processes. First, we're going to draw down the six millimeter, which is a 243 diameter. We're going to draw it down to approximately a 224 diameter pellet. Then we're going to sink this pellet into our projectile that's already been uh, filled. So what we're going to do, take our pellet, drop it into the point guide. I'm using a 6S point guide from Corbin's. It's not going to give us a super sharp point. I have the wrong setup for that. Then we're going to take and lube up a projectile or a bullet. Seat it in on top, and we're going to wage it down. Pick that up in a minute. Let's do that again. We're going to draw it down. Take a lubed casing. You want a lot of lube on it for the project uh, the polymer. This is a fairly soft plastic. Out of all the ones I've checked, this is probably about the softest I could find. And the I have a .072 diameter ejector, which will literally give you a small hollow point on top. There you go. Now that gives you a nice little round tip. It helps with the feeding, makes it a little bit longer. It adds about a grain and a half in weight to the actual projectile. Let's make a couple more, and then we're going to make them a little bit more pointed. I'm going to switch to a J4 jacket. Same diameter, same process, just a different jacket. All right, that one I didn't move very well. As you can tell, nice hollow point. This is my rimfire jacket. Well lubed. Down. And up. There you go. One more, then we're going to change the point on it. We're going to draw it down. Drawing means going down. Swaging means coming up. We're having to do two different processes with the same setup. We can get away with this because the plastic is extremely soft. You don't want to get any lube on the inside of the casing. You want it on the outside. That allows it to stick better. There we go. Okay. Now then, we got three or four good working ones here. It's load, it'll shoot, it's just as solid as anything else. It's just not as pointed as you're used to seeing. I have the wrong setup for that. You need a good lead pointing die. I have 
an ejector with an 072 ejector on it. So let's dial it down, let's lube it back up. You want lots of, you want it wet, you want it lubed. And you want to approach it in small increments. A little bit better. Got a nice even edge there. A little bit more. I'm using maybe eight turns on the die. A little bit and this thing goes a long way. Now you can start, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's now starting to cut into the plastic. Which is far as I can go. There you go. If you try to go too far, this setup will literally ram the die, ram the ejector into the plastic because it's soft. There you go. That's how you do it. Thank you for watching.